You know, it's an, inter it's an interesting thing. The little kid has the pumpkin head clothes in on him and all the stuff running out. It was, it was great. It was fun to do all that, that kind of stuff. When they stick their fingers in the guy's eyes and boom, pull his whole forehead up forward. You know, that, those are things that, you know, it, there were all these, these little simple things we did for all these movies. But nobody had ever done these before. The big Halloween three. That's right, three horrific masks to choose from. They're fun, they're frightening, and they glow in the dark. I, I didn't study anatomy. I never went to art school. I had worked with my father when I was a little kid. My father was a uh, monumental sculptor from the mid Midwest, and he did big um, uh, sculptures, uh, like 15 foot tall. Uh, 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 smoke signal, a Lakota tribe smoke signal thing out of bronze, and a big 35-foot statue to the Soldiers Monument, and all these different things. So he came to California, nobody cared about that sort of work, so he got to work at the studios. And he, so uh, and, and when he started his own, uh, own shop, uh, from about eight years old on, I worked in that shop. I cast things and painted them and all kinds of crazy stuff. Real soon, little buddy. You know, I started in 1966, and I'd already done Man Called Horse. Um, I had already done uh, um, uh, Devil's Reign, and I had done um, Man Who Fell to Earth, and Close Encounters, and, and, and uh, uh, I don't know, Dr. Moreau, some other thing, Prophecy. And uh, so, quite a ways before that. I think everything was very cheap and it was very fast. The turnover was almost like television. We had to invent everything. I had to, everyone I hired, I had to hire people who had never worked on a film before. I tried to hire artists from different uh, art schools and they'd say, well, well what, what do you do? And I said, well, I do makeup. And they well, I don't want to do makeup. And I said, no, you don't understand. We're, we're not doing just makeup. We're doing things that I'd show them pictures and stuff and they just didn't get it. You couldn't find people that were real skilled to come and work for you. So you had to train every single person to make molds, to cast the materials, how to paint. And most of them, you didn't, they didn't really paint. I did all the kind of finish work on it. And it was an interesting time. The latex is heated and poured. After that, it's cooled and poured off. Then it's all just a matter of trimming, painting, and packaging. Well, I, I love the idea. Of, I love the idea of uh, the Halloween three. Um, I had an idea. It's funny. I met with John Carpenter. I had an idea that in the end, I wanted to. By the time we were into that end of the film, and I went to John Carpenter because I I can't help it. I when I see something, I and they get an idea. I have to say it. And I thought that he should have when he's in at the end and it's all over and you don't know where he's going to go. Or I thought we should do a huge transformation of creating him into like the pumpkin head, you know, into a big, like the real spirit of, and, and to have him do a transformation into a pumpkin head and laugh and then be gone. And then you get it, oh, oh, I got it. This is e evil Halloween spirit. And um, John Carpenter got so angry at me for that. It more or less through somebody else told me I should stay out of story and it's not my business. But I wasn't doing it to, I, I, that was, that was my, the one missing piece for me in the film was, I don't know what uh, Dan O'Hurley was, I don't know who he was, it wasn't defined as exactly who he was. For me, the, the, the whole ending didn't tell me, I, I didn't know who this guy was, I didn't know what he's representing. I knew he was the spirit of, uh, in, in a sense, he was the spirit of Halloween, and he's like an evil spirit, but it didn't sell it very well for me. Need a reason? I, people just love the nostalgic part, and they love things that are a little corny, a little tongue-in-cheek, and and uh, a little wacky. Three more days to Halloween. Yeah. <laughs>
You got us. Please stop it. Stop it now. Turn it off. Turn it off. Stop it. 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 Stop it.